good evening children and you welcome to your channel today i told that i am not going to upload any videos but i thought that no let me do something for my children <coughs> so today i am discussing about exponents and few laws of exponents also we will talk we will discuss and after that um, i will solve few sums you will see how we i am doing those and you will definitely you will practice those acha today i first i will say that laws of exponents you know this is uh, i told you that this suppose 2 to the power 4 this is the base and this one is the exponent Now first law, a to the power n multiply a to the power n where the bases are same. Then what we will do in the exponent that is a to the power m plus n, m plus n. We will add both the power, both the exponents. If the base is same, then only. Otherwise not. Now here you see a to the power n divided by a to the power n. That time again our bases are same. Both are a a. So we will do m minus n. We will subtract the exponents. Now here it is a to the power n into b to the power n here you see bases are different one is a another one is b but the power both are n power are same that time what we will do a into b to the power n okay Clear children a into b to the power a. Next is again you say a to the power n divided by b to the power n. Here also bases are different. One is a, another one is b, but the power both are same. So what we will do a. Divide by b to the power n, or we can write a by b to the power n. This way we can do it. Clear? Now here you see number five. Number five you see. A to the power n whole to the power n. Here we will write the base and multiply the power. That is a into n means a n. I am giving you an example. That is, you see, suppose three square whole to the power. Four. So, so what we do? We write three to the power four to the eight. Okay, this is the thing. And next is something, whatever a is the base a to the power zero equals to one. Any number or anything to the power zero. Answer is one. Okay. It may this question may arise in your mind that ma'am why it is like this? Why a to the power zero equals to one? What is the reason behind it? Okay, let me explain this. I told you 
one that is if it is a to the power m divided by a to the power n so what we write a to the power m minus n right a to the when bases are same but uh, the power m and n are different then division sign is there then we do the subtraction of the power that is a to the power m minus n okay so uh, this one i can write this way a to the power uh, if uh, uh, suppose i am taking if m equals to n m equals to n then we can write a to the power n divided by a to the power n we can write so what we can write a to the power n minus n that is what that is a to the power 0 n minus n 0 and you know one thing that if the numerator and denominator both are same then suppose 3 by 3 we cut it and what we get 1 4 by 4 cut it and we get 1 so same way we i will cut this two and i will get one so our we have proved that a to the power 0 equals to 1 acha so one more question children that is you can write this you can write this proof one more thing i am telling you that if 0 to the power 0 is that one but 0 to the power 0 is not one not equals to one why why because i am writing again the same example i am taking a to the power n if m and a n equals to n a to the power n so we will write what a to the power 0 means what 0 so what we will get we will get here the denominator zero which is undefined meaningless it is if the denominator is zero it is meaningless so we can write a zero to the power zero is undefined or meaningless okay now let us do one sum i will show you the easy one first i am doing one sum that is 5 to the power 2 whole to the power 3 into 5 to the power 4 divided by 5 to the power 7 okay so this one a to the we will apply for this this one this law a to the power m whole to the power n 
this law we will apply here so we will write 5 to the power 3 to the 6 into 5 to the power 4 divided by 5 to the power 7. Now I will apply this a to the power m into a to the power n equals to a to the power m plus n. So what we will get? 5 to the power 6 plus 4, 10. Division sign. 5 to the power 7. So now what we will do? Uh, this uh, law we will apply. A to the power m divided by A to the power n equals to A to the power m minus n. So we will do 5 to the power Ten minus seven. What we will get? Five to the power ten minus seven. Three. This is our answer. If you uh, will keep it in exponential form, then you will keep it in this way. Otherwise, you will do five into five into five. Okay, and multiply and write the answer. Okay, let us do one more sum. The sum is two to the power three into 3 to the power 4 into 4 divided by 3 into 3 square. Here, what is the power? 1. Okay. Now, we will do one thing. That is, we will write this. 2 cube. So, we will write 2 to the power 3 into 2 to, two, so 3 to the power 4 into 4. I can write as 2 square 2 to the power 2. That is 2 to the 4. So, here, no, this one is 32. Okay. So, here, 3 to the power 1 into 32. You do the prime factorization. 32. You 
understood? I have done, not done anything. I have just arranged and written. Now here you here you see. I can do two to the power three multiply two to the power two. Bases are same, and multiplication sign is there. So what I will do? Two to the power three plus two. That is five. And here three to the power four. Separated. Here also two to the power five, and here three to the power one. So now what we will do? Two to the power five minus five multiply three to the power. It is division. So. If the bases are same, the and division is there, then what do we do? A to the power m minus n, m minus n. Here also I will do three to the power four minus one. So two to the power five minus five is Zero. So two to the power zero into three to the power four minus one. That is three. So we know something to the power zero is one into three cube. So your answer is three cube. If it is written that, keep your answer in exponential form. Then you will write it in this form. Otherwise, you will multiply three into three into three. Okay, children. So today is this much, and uh, you tell me uh, that what are the different types of sums you want? In which sums you have doubt? You tell me, and uh, then I will uh, do solve those sums for you all. Okay, and uh, one more thing that is in other chapters also, you send me the different different sums which you have doubt. It is it is not clear. You tell me, I will do it, and I will explain it, and I am sure you all will understand. Okay, children. So this much is for today. So bye bye and good night.